What is going on? Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what my daily carries are for 2021 and how I pack my things in my most carried camera bags. Let's start with the bag. So I've got two bags here. You can see you've got a big one and a small one. This is a six liter, this is a 35 liter, both from PGY Tech. I'm um, not sure if you know the company. Uh, by the way, all of these are my own, so not sponsored or anything like that. I've actually used this for quite a while now. This is a six liter bag. It's my daily carrier. It's actually a shoulder bag. So let me just show you what it looks like. So I use it on a daily basis. Uh, if I go out just for like a half day or a daily kind of commute. If I do travel though, it's this one of these big ones, right? So let's start with a small one. The cool thing about this bag is you can actually open this up, right? And then it kind of unfolds all the way through. Right, you can actually open the flaps up and then you can put whatever stuff that you need. You've got a pocket on the top and then you've got a couple of pockets down here. So at the top here, we've got two batteries, right? These are my camera batteries. You've got a magnet here that you can actually say, okay, it's a full charge or I've actually used this battery. So pretty convenient. On the top, I will usually put a small rig multi-purpose, uh, this little toolkit. You've got a flathead here and then you've also got your hexagonal screws. So pretty convenient, uh, very good quality. A little bit pricey though, but I think, you know, I've had it for a couple of years now and I use it on a daily basis. So that's where I put most of my stuff. As we go down, there's a pouch here. Uh, I feel this is a bit shallow, so I don't put anything here. On top, you've got three different pouches, all Velcro based, so you can rip them apart and then filter it any way you like. Usually I'll have my camera in the middle. Speaking of the camera, this is the M3, but I usually use the S3. Uh, majority of the time it's being filmed right now, so I'm using this as a replacement. Uh, I do film most of the time, so not much of a photo guy. So S3 is my preferred choice, but if you're first time buying a camera, M4 would be a great daily driver, right? A good combination of film and photography. Okay, so I will usually put my camera in right in the middle. On the left or the right, you could put a lens. So I have two lenses that I use majority of the time right now. Uh, I tend to swap them out, but depending on where I go. Uh, I like the Tamron. It's light and it's really good, uh, versatile, and it's not expensive, especially for landscape. Uh, I love the wide angle. So 1728 is my preferred choice. I'm mostly using the 28-200 right now, uh, which is Great versatile, so these two combos pretty much covers everything that I shoot. Unless it's for a client work, then I will use the G Master lenses. I've got one here, this is the 2470 GM, and then I've got a few others that, depending on my shoot, I will carry different lenses. Uh, but this will be my daily drive, right? On the left pocket here, usually what I will do, I have two things, I will usually carry a phone. Uh, this is a backup uh, 13 Pro, uh, great for photos and photography, or, or just you know getting out there shooting some videos. Uh, this is my phone of choice right now. And then I've got also one of these things. This is a Kando QCam fun camera. Uh, what a mouthful. Uh, basically what it is, let me show you. You take off this cover and you can see it's a 360 degrees camera. Plug it into your phone and you're able to stream and voice call 360 degrees to your friends or your parents. And they can actually intuitively look around what's happening around you through this one plugin. Uh, so really convenient. And if you just wanna shoot something like 360, you can do that with this, um, and then you can post process it in your phone right away uh, to choose the angle you want. It's a lot easier than the Insta360. Uh, in terms of quality though, uh, it doesn't have a bigger sensor as the uh, Insta360, so the quality is not as good, uh, but you know, for a front camera, you get away with it, no problems, right? Um, and I think mostly I use this just to you know, show people around and get a different perspective and really just have a good conversation with my friends. So I have this in here and this will be my daily pouch. So zip it up and off I go. If I need to take a camera, I will just unzip and then take the camera out and then otherwise I'm on my way. Now, I also have a couple other gears that I use on a longer travel or, or I'm traveling. You know, first things first, on the left to right. This is the 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro from last year. Uh, this is the Pro, not the Max model. Uh, I don't think you really need a Max. Uh, it works perfectly fine for me. If you wanna see the review, go check out my other videos. Uh, I do a lot of DaVinci editing on here uh, for everything from photo editing, video editing. One thing does it all. This is my core. A workstation. And then this is the 2470 lens. I've already explained that, so uh, let's not go into detail. I've got a DT uh, shotgun mic. This is, goes on the top of the camera. If I don't want to use a wireless, this is what I use. Nice and easy for vlogs and, and some kind of uh, voice capturing. Over here, I've got another tripod. This is from PGY Tech. You've probably seen it in a couple of videos. It's, got, it's a vlog camera, right? You can put your camera on top and there's a quick release. You just press a button and you can adjust the camera angle just like that. So really convenient. And then if you want to set it down, you can just open the legs up 
you know, it's kind of like a mantis. I think that's what they call it, a PGY tag mantis tripod. And then this thing up top here, the, the plate itself, uh, you can move it around in different angles and that's a quick release plate. Pretty easy, lock it on and then it comes off. All right, so put it back on and there you go. So this is what I recommend if you want to go out and have a handheld tripod. I've also got an iFootage spider leg or spider crab leg. Uh, this is a magic arm. Uh, I've got a cold shoe on this end and then this is just a quarter inch mount. Uh, I usually have this with my uh, Atomos Ninja. Hook it up and then on my camera off I go so I can shoot and monitor what I, what I do. So this is really good quality, right? Like it's, it's really good quality, right? So, very sturdy and gives you a lot of assurance. So highly recommend this. Over here, this is just a little cleaner. Um, but here is the battery that I use. This is a MPF battery, but I'm not sure the brand, uh, but it's quite good, right? You press a button, you can see the power levels. And then on this end, there is a 7.2 volt out. So you can power your camera or whatever that you need from these two ports. And this side, there's a type C. It's a 20 watt type C. So you can charge your phone. Think of it as a power bank, right? and it's pretty convenient. So I can use one battery and power everything on my system. And then finally, I have one of these. Right? I'm a fairly traditional guy. I like to write things down when I'm you know, not busy. Uh, so this is my little diary. Now, let me show you how I pack everything into one of these big bags, right? You can open from the back and you've got two massive departments. Uh, what I usually do is I put the top just like this, straight in. Laptop in here on the side. So it slides right in, not a problem. And then on here, I've got my battery, so I just put my battery in here. And then my microphone just goes straight in, just like that. My lens goes on the side, goes straight to the side. All right, my Ninja goes to the side, and then my Spider Crab right, just goes in like that. So it's pretty convenient. You know, you've got plenty of room. You can leave whatever you want. You can leave your notebook here, or you can put it in the pouch on the side. It fits right in just like that. There's two quick access pockets on the side. There's one here, right? You've got access to this pocket, okay? And then there's another one down here where you can quickly just, if you want to change lens, you can take the lens out or the battery. On the side, there's two battery pouches, but I just have my screen cleaner and a wipe, right? This thing is really, really good quality. All right, quite comfortable, fairly thick straps on the shoulders, um, but you can see, right? This is what it looks like. It's not light, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty heavy. You can do squats on this. If I go long travels, this is what I take. If I go short travels or if I arrive at the hotel and I want to go out for an afternoon shoot, I just take this, lock this, and off I go. Super convenient. There you go. Uh, this is what I take in 2021, and, and I'll be posting more tech in the near future. Hope you have a good one. See you next time. Peace.